Oh, I just can do both. Oh my god, that just fucked it up. I just watched like this really uh, hilarious, like this old 2006 poorly made Sonic game uh, where these voice actors dub um, the characters. Like the voiceovers dubbed, dubbed the characters uh, without any like pre um, pre planning. Like um, what's the word? Uh, rehearsing without any rehearsing, uh, and it's hilarious. It's so fucking good. I'll put it in the uh, in the description, the link, because it's it's like an hour and thirty minutes, but it's. Or worth it, in my opinion. It's fucking hilarious. Anyway, we've been reading the book Lolita, Lolita that uh, one of my friends recommended and stuff like that. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, there's some parts of it that I like, and there's some parts I don't like about it. Now, it's one of those books that I'm actually decently enjoying, though. So, for starters, I'm a little bit confused because. The start of it, I haven't got a f total grasp on, on what's happened and what's actually like ha actually happened and what of the timeline of what things have happened in the scheme of things and stuff. It's confusing because he doesn't specify a certain time gap whenever, whenever he does do a time gap. Like for example, there's parts where like he, this woman breaks up with him at the start and then like, he's like, and then it talks about him being a convict or something like that. Or maybe he's talking about like, the situation he's in is like being a convict or something like that. And I get confused by that. Because what makes it even more confusing is the way he writes. And the way he, way he writes is very beautiful and it keeps you interested. But it also can be confusing because he uses a lot of, he uses a lot of uh, intricate words <coughs> that really uh, <coughs> catch you off guard. Um, and he uses them in such a way where it's almost kind of poetic, uh, in a sense. But yeah, uh, so... The parts where I just get lost and confused, I don't like, obviously. The parts where the way it's written can be intriguing. Uh, the story itself is interesting. I don't want to spoil it if you want to read it yourself. Uh, so I'm not going to say anything. But... It's kind of fucked up. And the, it's, but it's interesting in the same sense, and it's not too descriptive with the fucked up shit, in a way where like you kind of like, you like I can't read this, but it's not too descriptive. It's actually not that bad. It's not too bad. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good book. Um, recommend it if you're an avid reader. I wasn't actually an avid an avid reader beforehand. I was just reading Jasper Jones. I was like the first guy. Okay, I was like, yeah, you know, what? I'm gonna read like 30 minutes of a book per day, and I had um, a bunch of books, a bunch of Stephen King books to read, but I didn't really want to read them because I've already watched the movies. So I was like, oh, I already know what's gonna happen. Like I might read the books eventually. Like I started Jared's Game, watched the movie, loved the movie. I'm enjoying the book kinda. Um, I might continue and finish it just because it's, I've read through some of it already and it's just bothering me, letting it sit there. But yeah, anyway, I found Jasper Jones. It was like, had all those like award winning reclaims and stuff at Kmart. And then I bought it for like, I don't know, 12, 12 goobers or something. Um, read it, I enjoyed it. It was a pretty good book. Um, and now I'm reading Lolita. Uh, and I've also got two other books. Um, next to read and a bunch of manga like I've read like four chapters of the Tokyo Ghoul manga well not chapters uh, whatever the set as um, I'm just gonna say books I've read like four books of uh, the manga and uh, I've got like a full collection of 14 um, it's not a full collection but it's like a full collection of the first set 
point is taken. Lolita's not bad. Pretty good book. I'm enjoying it. Um, good read. Interesting. It makes your brain go bigger. It makes your brain big, 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 big brain. Um, and then I got a bunch of other books to read afterwards, and also the manga. So yeah, I highly recommend uh, checking out. We're well, not checking out. Start reading. Do some reading, guys. Reading is good for you. Um, I recommend yeah, just doing like 30 minutes of reading a day. If you can't like read for too long, I was gonna do hour an hour per day, but then I was like, nah, I get bored too quickly. Like I enjoy the reading, but I can't read for too long. And there's sometimes where I, I get really into reading, so I might actually read for an hour, but but it would be like in increments of like every of like 20 minutes. But just throughout the day, I'd in total it would be like an hour of reading. Uh, but yeah, I have actually been watching. It's another one of those anime where <clears throat> it's like it seems like it's going to go as long as like Naruto um, or maybe even One Piece, uh, but it might not. <clears throat> but yeah, I think the manga for Black Clover, Clover, Clover is still going. So if anything, I'm not surprised for how long Black Clover will go, will go for, even possibly if that's naps or whatever. But I've been watching it like 70 eps in. It's pretty good. It's interesting. Um, it gets a bit annoying with some aspects, like for example, um, the animation is just kind of cruddy, it's very mediocre, um, but then like whenever they do the high, like the, the really well done, then they have those really well done action scenes in it that make me go, oh wait, are they actually going to boost up the animation skills, like the animating um, ability for the show? But no, it's only it's like uh, it's like the higher separate people did animate, or they put more time into animating um, those separate fighting scenes. And I, res I like respect that in a sense. Like, okay, cool, thanks guys for putting more effort and time into these really cool fight scenes. But still, it would be cool if they could put more time into just the entire show. Like, I, I know I'm asking for a lot here, but come on, there's a lot of other shows that have like Naruto had pretty good animation for it, and then when Black Clover has like animation kind of like shit where like um, a character will move his arm but like his the rest of his body would stand still and he just looks like a fucking doll and I hate it. And there's other aspects where like I dislike the fact that um, it constantly like for example uh, the bitch with the white hair, the royal bitch that likes Asta, Astra, or Astra, Astra, Asta, what have you pronounced his fucking name? The main character, right? She likes to make her character, right? Uh, the thing, I, one of the things I dislike about the whole show, but it, it's really common with her, is how she basically has that whole issue of controlling her magic, and that has to do with um, her not wanting to hurt people, or then it goes to her not having um, people to look up to, or slash be friends with, or have memories with, right? It's, it's just a bunch of these different things mixed together, right? But then it just keeps on going back to it. It's like, it's like every time she has to do something hard and her only struggle, struggle is controlling her magic. And it's like getting annoying now because like there's been so many times where she's gotten over it and I'm like, oh, okay, now she can control her magic. But then it goes back to it. It's like, it's like it, what she just learned has ne never happened. And she just like has amnesia or something and she just forgets that um, she forgets that she basically learnt how to control her magic or learnt the purpose or reason to why she couldn't control her magic so therefore she could control her magic now. It's so stupid. And then it also does these sequences where um, whenever somebody has like a situation and then like it, goes, it does a flashback of a previous episode but the flashback goes for like two to five minutes and I'm like Dude, I don't want to watch two to five minutes of some fucking shit that I've already seen. I literally skip it, and like, yeah, I guess it's that to me, but seriously, do just 30 seconds. Or like, 15 seconds. Don't have to do fucking two to five minutes of that crap. I don't want to rewatch two to five minutes of shit that I've already watched. It feels like fucking filler, 20, filler redo or some shit. It's, 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 it's just annoying and stupid. But those are the main complaints about the show. Like, I'm still going to finish it. I like the characters, it's just the animation and the filler shit and the fucking trying to scrape the bottom of the, scrape the bottom of barrel, bottom, bottom of the barrel for fucking issues with characters. 
It's so stupid. So there's been a lot of memes going around about Daft Punk breaking up. And that's all tragic and all, but <clears throat> they haven't released music for eight years now. So it is tragic in a sense that they're never going to release any more music. But I, did, I wasn't expecting any more music in general since they haven't released anything in eight years. Wait, didn't they do something with uh, The Weeknd? In a sense, doesn't that count? When was that? How long ago was that? That was like just a few years ago, right? That was 2017. So in a sense, they haven't made music for four years, I think. Unless they did all this shit with other people. I feel like, yeah, come on, that still counts for making music. They fucking did shit with The Weeknd. Like, they didn't release anything original in eight years, but sure, whatever. Anyway. Point taken, it's not a sh it's, 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 it's sad and stuff, and I like the memes about it and stuff, but... In a sense, it's not a huge, uh worry since they didn't make music for eight years or four years uh so yeah but yeah i i, I like that music uh, i got into it because my dad and stuff like that he loves that music but that's really all i had for the, this weekly dump just like three topics three minor topics that turned out to go for a bit longer than anticipated or well, two of them did Anyway, see you guys on the flip side. You know, you know how it is. Pizza, pizza do, pizza, pizza, pizza see, pizza do. That's what they say apparently in 2021, guys. Start. Yeah.